custom pipe selection processes need to know which type of fluid do you work with let's say is it caustic, is it safe, is it oily, is it uh, high viscous, low viscous does it uh, increase properties such as density with uh, temperature and so on operation conditions of course because if you are operating very high pressures well that's kind of uh, risky you use very low temperatures well you're going to need let's say systems at very low temperatures what velocity are you operating because velocity comes with volumetric flow rate of course you will say I want to transfer the most volumetric flow rate I could and that will need a velocity of operation but many velocities are not recommended for many types of applications of course when choosing a pipe you need to know the cost that imply either investment, investment how much money are you going to pay for the material uh, installation how much money are you going to pay for installing each pipe of them and how much is this going to cost you to maintain and operate mm, this is a very thumb rule basic rule uh, depending on the fluid type here goes the operation or velocity operation so if you want to operate a light liquid such as uh, let's say water typical applications are between 0 and 3 meters per second actually I would say 1 to 2 3 it's a little bit high but it's okay for viscous materials such as oil or honey or whatever that is very very like kerosene and so on actually kerosene is not that viscous but you will try to operate very low velocity for gases such as water vapor and so on you will operate at very high velocities such as 10 to 15 meters per second and other gases gases I mean like nitrogen oxygen recall the difference from vapor and gas is essentially the gas will not condense and the vapor might condense so you could actually operate at very high velocities right here okay so that are some of the basic pipe selection criteria you might take into consideration this course is not about choosing the pipe it's just to know what's behind the piping system it would be awesome if you could take a course on pipe selection what do you need to choose and so on because it's very very let's say practical it's not about theory, theoretical concept it's more about practical if you go to a chemical plant they will tell you well we have this standard we choose this type of material for this type of operations and it's done it's a standard and normally you aren't that capable of telling the let's say the chief or the boss tell him I, I want to use PVC on this line because it's cheaper and they'll tell you well it, it's not about being cheap it's about being safe and standards and get the ISO standards and so on so we will use a let's say a copper uh, steel or something metallic uh, yep essentially that's what I wanted to tell you on pipe selection please continue to the next video which is about the type of materials we operate this was a free preview. You want to get full access? Go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user-friendly interface. So, for instance, if you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here. The pump block. And then you have the sections. If you were, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here, and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.